Welcome to Today Matters, our short devotional in the Word of God. And I've been taking you through a series on the book of James, and I really want to continue on that track. So for the next few devotionals that I bring you, we're going to focus on a very important subject that James tackles in his book. We're going to be talking about making wise decisions. So how do you make the best decisions? How do you make God-honoring decisions? I'm going to set that up today, then we're going to talk about it in my next couple of devotionals. Now, in America, we love decisive leaders. You know, we, we think great leaders are those who can make quick decisions. But it's really not about quickness when it comes to decision making. It's easier to make a fast decision than it is a good decision. It takes nothing at all to make a quick decision. It takes a lot of wisdom to be able to make the right decision. Now, the Bible has a lot to say about decision-making. For some of you, this is perfect timing. You've got some big decisions to make. Others of you, you're going to need this at some point. I would encourage you to write down what I'm about to talk about. Now, this section we're looking at is James 1, 5 through 8, and this is what he says. If you need wisdom, ask our generous God, and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking, but when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver, he says, for a person with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. He goes on to say, such people should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. In verse 8 says, their loyalty is divided between God and the world, and they are unstable in everything they do. Now, the Bible says that double-mindedness is really disastrous. Indecision keeps you from God's best. It says, don't let that person think he's going to receive anything from the Lord. If I can't make up my mind about what's really important in life, and listen to me, then I'm limiting God in my life, and I'm going to miss God's best for my life, and I'll never grow into all God has created me to be. Write this down if you would. Our decisions determine our destiny. Our decisions determine our destiny. Our choices determine our character, whether our character is developed or destroyed. And so we better get this right. And thankfully, God gives us a clear plan in Scripture for helping us make wise decisions. Think about this. God gave Noah the dream of saving the world from the flood. But Noah had to make the decision to go forward and build the ark. God gave Abraham the dream of beginning a brand new nation. But Abraham had to make the decision to leave everything he had, all of his comfort, all of his security, and go out into the unknown. God gave Moses the dream of leading the children of Israel out of 400 years of slavery. But Moses had to make the decision to go and confront Pharaoh. You will never walk in all of what God has for you until you master the art of making the right decisions. Now, the Bible is full of examples of the effect of wise decisions. And I want to illustrate the importance of decision making because people tend to make decisions very frivolously. And, and, you know, right, and, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a biblical, very simple, workable plan on how to make the wisest decisions, whether it's your career, marriage finances, health, children, your future. There are principles in God's word on how to make those decisions. Now, did you know that God doesn't want to make every decision for you? As a matter of fact, in his word, he gives us clear parameters, but then the decision is up to you. For example, when you're looking for a mate, there is not one person set on a platter for you that God has picked out as this one that's just on the platter. No, 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 he doesn't do that. There are characteristics. God says, within these biblical parameters, the choice is yours. See, it's your fault at that point. (laughs) I'm just kidding. But listen, in my last devotion, in my next devotion, I should say, with you, I'm going to give you a clear process of making biblically wise decisions. James emphasizes this to the church because so many Christians were making terrible decisions at that time. They were actually leaving God out of the decision-making process, and James was telling them, no, 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 no. You're, You're running into all kinds of problems. 
And remember, we talked about problems. And he says, you're running into all kinds of problems by not consulting God on this process. So we're going to talk about that. He says, don't try to figure out all your problems without God. As a matter of fact, the reason you're having so many problems may be because you are not asking God. So we're going to talk more about that on Friday on Today Matters. Today Matters.